guys, we are back for a new event. Eighth anniversary, right, for Dokkan. Uh, seems like it's going pretty good. Um, so we have this story event right here, which is going to be the new free-to-play LR. So let's see, we have four uh, stages that we're going to go ahead and do. Um, and we're going to be able to grind up Bobbity and then Awakening Medals for this Bobbity. Now, it's very heavily memed so far that, yes, this Bobbity right here, um, surprisingly, is the third LR Bobbity. It, it's just like, you know, you have, think of like the terrifying villains in Boo Saga. You go, yeah, Kid Boo, Boo Ultimate Gohan is probably the strongest uh, villain Dragon Ball Z character, right? You know, all the, you know, Fat Boo terrorized everything. And it's like, no, Bobbity, three LRs. Fat Boo has what? One LR. Deborah has one LR. Uh, Kid Boo has zero. Buhan has one, right? It's Bobbity has three. It's ridiculous. Um, so we'll see. Uh, the last several years, right? LR Roshi had the revive mechanic. Um, LR Goten, Trunks, and Gohan had an intro. So we can assume that this Bobbity is going to have a standby skill. I, I think that's a very safe assumption. What is it going to be? I don't know. I mean, it could be Bobbity and his minions. It could be Fat Boo. Majin Vegeta could be a part of it. Deborah could be a part of it. Uh, based upon Bobbity's kit, um, he does seem to be fighting an extreme class enemy, right? Which makes me think that it's either uh, Deborah versus Fat Boo or uh, Majin Vegeta versus Fat Boo, right? Which eventually it's going to be. So we will see. Um, Looks like Worldwide Chaos gives us the increased drops there, which is fine. Um, I did go ahead and build us a very delicious uh, Worldwide Chaos uh, full LR setup right here. So we will be able to grind this up uh, pretty easily. Um, you guys know, I always do make sure to, you know, do story on for these story events and stuff like this. I'm always doing it like this because um, I want to be able to sort of like record the events. Oh, real quick. Before we actually jump in, is there anything important for us to notice here in the actual info here? So, Worldwide Chaos, of course, gives us the increased drop rates. Um, it's, again, talking about Majin Buu. Again, Oob is here on the, the, the image art. So, I assume the final fight is going to be, you know, Oob and Goku at the end of Dragon Ball Z. Looks like there's nothing really overly, like, important that we have to take a look in here. Let me know what you guys think the LR is going to be, man. Um, it's certainly very interesting to think about. Alright, so I believe this is basically going up to, like, Super Boot. Wait, wait, wait. Is this... Is this Super Saiyan 3 Goku? Versus Fat Boo? Is that what this first one is right here? That looks like new art for Bobbity right there. Okay, so there's Fat Boo. Yeah, it is. Wow. Okay. We, we, I, I did not think that this event started with Super Saiyan 3 Goku versus Fat Boo, sure. I, I, I would have thought that it would have started with, like, um, you know, like, Majin Vegito or Deborah versus Fat Boo right here. Um, okay, sure, sure, sure. I do think Fat Boo, by the way, deserves a Dokkan Fest. That's one of the characters that does not have one that I think does deserve one. Let me actually quickly take a look here. Um, and let me see, like, what... Uh, previous Fat Boo characters we've had. Because I, I do think Fat Boo, um, he does deserve a, a Dokkan Fest for sure. And they they haven't really used, like, all of his animations, right? Um, there, that's the manga art for that Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku, which um, I certainly would say does not look as good um, as the anime art, right? There, there are several instances of that where... You know, Toriyama's art in the Boo Saga at times, you know, can, can seem a little bit wonky. And I think that's also what tripped up people uh, when it came to the 8th um, anniversary LR animation, right? Where, you know, Vegeta's like, Genki Dama! And his face is like, so like, I, I don't know, like, 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 fat, like, misshapen, right? Um, okay. So, I'm looking at Majin Buu Good, right? That's what they call him. There's the STR one that has an AoE. And then there's the physical one, which is one of the OG characters, like, way back in the day. Wow, we got a lot of drops. One one run? Okay. Uh, and then there's sort of, like, the exchange boo, which is from the kid boo fight. And then the tech, you know, SSR boo, which is the SSR for the exchange Majin boo. But, yeah, like, uh, they could definitely give us some sort of fat boo. Um, you know, kind of like from when he fights Supreme Kai and Gohan, Deborah... 
Majin Vegeta, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Like, I feel like there's still some animations for them to take from Fat Boo. You know, I know that the LR, Bobbity, and Debora, that, that, you know, they've done a couple of animations with Fat Boo, but Fat Boo is around for quite a long time, right? And he has, like, a lot of fights, too. It's not like Fat Boo, you know, like, Fat Boo fights way more than, like, Super Boo, I think, right? Like, Super Boo has his battles, essentially, just against, like, Gotenks and then Ultimate Gohan. Um, so, Fat Boo deserves a Dokkan Fest, without a doubt. Um, I do feel like they could probably give another one to Super Boo. Super Boo blowing himself up. That's not really an animation, is it? Is there, is there a good animation of Super Boo blowing himself up against Ultimate Gohan? No, because there's only... Yeah, there's only the, the four Super Boos as well. So that's... Honestly, that that's another thing they could take, right? Is, is Boo blowing himself up? I feel like is another anime... Because... A lot of times when thinking about these characters too, a good way to look at it is like not even like what characters don't have Dokkan Fest and stuff like that, but what moments animations have not been used yet is a very big way to look at this. That's why I like the banner unit, Super Saiyan 3, Gotenks, and Piccolo. I kind of am not the biggest fan of that because they're just kind of like a shitty subpar banner unit, not even like a super crazy one. And their animations are literally Dokkan Fest level. Like, I feel like that Gotenks and Piccolo should have been a Dokkan Fest, dude. Like, uh, that 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 just feels really weird. It's like, then you have, you know, shitty Ice and Nova, who, I'm sorry, no one really cares. No one cares about them. They are the worst. I mean, the fact that they actually created Ice and Nova Shenron Anniversary Edition on Dokkan, that's worse than the Anniversary Ice and Nova on Legends, um, to me, is really crazy. Never in a million years would I have thought that, you know, okay, Dokkan's gonna do Anniversary Ice and Nova, and then they're, you know, they're even worse than the Legends version. It's crazy. Um, I think Boo Gotenks probably could get another unit as well, right? Um, pretty much all we have with his animations is the LR Boo Tanks. Um, Boo Tanks doesn't do that much. He only has his fight with Ultimate Gohan. Right, they, I mean, they certainly did use a lot of what he does in that Boo Tanks LR, but he could get one. And then, you know, that brings us, Boo Piccolo, I mean, doesn't even fight, right? So, like, he, if they're going to do something, they got to take references from other, like, moments for Boo. But Boo Han, dude, I'm going to tell you all right now, they could do three or four LRs of Boo Han. With the amount of animations he does. It is insane to me that we have essentially one Buhan, right? We, you have the Int Dokkan Fest Buhan who came out in 20 goddamn 16. You have the Transforming Super Boo, sure. His animation sucks, so it's not something that's, uh, that matters at all. It's You completely throw it out. It's worthless, right? Uh, it's not an animation, like a good animation, one-to-one -one animation. And then LR Buhan. But the thing about the LR Boo Tanks transforming into Buhan, the animations that that Buhan uses are literally, it's him fighting base Vegito and then him fighting Goku and Vegeta, right? Uh, his 12 key animation is him fighting base Vegito and his 18 key animation is him fighting Goku and Vegeta before they even fuse into Vegito. Every attack that Boo does against Super Vegito, which again, they're fighting for like five episodes, right? It's like, you think of all the stuff they could do. Like, like five episodes of Boo trying every single attack he could possibly muster against Vegito. Because the whole point Vegito was doing, he was intentionally delaying, intentionally letting um, Boo go through every single attack he could do on purpose, right? So that way Boo would have no other option. And then, you know, final trump card, he would try and absorb Vegito. That was the whole point of what Vegito was doing. But because of that, that means, like, the games have got a lot to work with, with Buhan. That's what that means. And then, finally, we get to Kid Buu, and, yeah, I mean, Kid Buu ha does so much, right? Like, how much fighting does Kid Buu do in the last couple of episodes? And oh, the only, um, like, animations they use for Kid Buu is, you know, from his fight with Super Saiyan 2 Goku, right? Like, not even Super Saiyan 3 or Vegeta or anything like that. So we easily could get a nasty Kid Buu LR. 
Um, all right, so here's where Gotenks runs out of power, and then our boy Ultimate Goton will show up. So, yeah, there, there's still a lot that, like, they could do with Majin Buu. Um, I think it's good that they don't spam it all at the same time, right? Like, it's not like I'm saying, like, you know, the next five Dokkan Fest should be all these characters. But it's like, if they are actually going to drop LR Kid Buu um, in Part 2, right? If they're going to do that, then they need to help him. Um, they, they, they have to actually give him help with other strong Dokkan Fests or other powerful characters or something, right? Like, if they're going to give us LR Kid Buu in Part 2, right? Um, and then we got the, the easy SCR Super Buu, who's very good. And then the next Dokkan Fest, you know, the start of March Dokkan Fest, which, dude, it has, like, it's got to be a villain. It, it, if we're keeping track, the last villain TUR Dokkan Fest was AGL Cell right in april of 2022 it's been almost a year dude it has been like a year since we've had a villain dokkan fest it's so funny i remember we were sitting there this was after majin vegeta um it, it was uh, me and gresh we were on stream and we were taking guesses who the next dokkan fest would be i don't remember who i said but i made some villain guess and gresh is like they're not going to do three straight villain dokkan fest it's like they did because it ended up being Raditz, but then they basically didn't do another villain Dokkan Fest for a <laughs> hundred years, man. We, we went like the entire half of the year. Now, the good news for villain lovers is we did get a lot of very powerful good LRs. LR Golden Frieza, LR Metal Cooler, LR Final Form Cooler, LR Fusion Zamasu, right? So it's like, yeah, we didn't get any villain um, TUR Dokkan Fest in the last half of the year, but we got a bunch of really good villain LRs. And that's the thing. All of those villain LRs are Ws. None of them are like worthless or a waste or bad design or anything. They're all just huge Ws. So that of course is definitely um, a really good thing I would say for villain lovers. That it's like if they did, they did all, you know, LR Golden Freezer was a massive W. So was Fusion Zamasu. So was Metal Cooler, right? So it's like that is, a, and you know, Final Form Cooler of course is the best among all of them. But um, that was was really really good. So, hopeful. I, I I do hope to see this again, where maybe like the start of March Dokkan Fest as a villain. Um, Saiyan Day will probably be like God Goku. It seems like it's going to be God Goku, and then like the start of April Dokkan Fest again will be another villain. I I I'm I'm hoping so. Uh, all right. So there was the fight between um, Boo Tanks and Gohan, and looks like when we get new stages added to the event, because we are going to, uh, it'll continue the fights. The next one will probably be Vegito. Uh, versus Buhan. <laughs> Dude, that looks so goofy. Old guy giving up his life. <laughs> that looks so goofy. But, you know, the next one we'll go into will be um, the Vegito fight, and then we'll get into Kid Buu, and then I'm sure it would end with Oob, right? I don't think that the standby LR is going to have anything to do with Oob, but, I mean, I can't say this for sure, right? Um, Okay, so we completed all four stages right there, right? We got all four of them done. Let me go ahead and grind up the Bobbity. Uh, we'll just go ahead and grind up his TUR. I'll probably go ahead and rainbow him and we'll awaken him as part of this video. And then I'll get to link leveling him. Uh, and we'll do a showcase before uh, he actually awakens into his LR and uh, see what he has to offer. So I will be right back. Uh, here, let's just grab these missions. Sure, whatever. Uh, I'll be right back once the grind is done. Oh, look, yeah, they're giving us... Um, orbs and stuff for rainbowing him, too. So you get a lot of your... Re oh, the reason they do that is because you have to ra rainbow him for missions, right? Like, to get all the tickets for the, the free multi, right? That, that Which gives you the LRs. You're going to have to fully easy the characters and rainbow them and stuff like that. So that makes sense. All right, guys. We got the grind done. So let's go ahead and rainbow the SSR Bobbity. So again, he's Bobbity as an SSR and a TUR. We don't know what the Dokkan Awakening will be. Maybe, like, it'll be Bobbity and his army or something? Uh, we'll, we'll see. Again, it does seem like a very surprising pick for an LR here. Now, I don't know if I really recommend people to, to rainbow this guy. You're not going to need to rainbow him right now. Uh, I guess, to be fair, we're not really going to know his true kit until the end of the month, right? Because what will probably happen is he'll awaken in Part 2, and then he'll probably easy in Part 3, which is what we've had several years in a row with the free-to-play characters, right? So that's probably what we would see. So 
to be fair, you're not going to know what build you want to give this character for quite a while still. There, there's no way to know. I just gave him additional for now, right? Because I'm going to link level this character, um, and we will, you know, sort of like test them out ahead of time anyway, right? But yeah, there we go. So there we go. Uh, we should have now all the missions done. I'll just go ahead and uh, get him up to level 120 real quick. Um, but now we should have all of the missions done. Uh, most of the missions for this event um, are sort of based around, you know, like sort of like leveling the sky up and rainbowing him and open up dew paths and stuff like that. Um, because again, they're, they're sort of like setting you up uh, to, you know, get all of the tickets and then do that ticket multi and then get those guaranteed three free LRs at the end, towards the end of the celebration. So, yep, we did have all of the missions done. Let's go ahead and accept this. I will gladly accept some of my in orbs back. That is fantastic. So, there we go. There is the uh, part one event right here. What is this? Terrifying Majin and Reborn Soul. Uh, let me know what you guys think of Bobbity getting his 80th LR. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.